When I create Excel tools, I always add an instruction sheet, but it can be a pain to create instructions, and it's double pain if you write them in Excel. This is what happens to me all the time. I create a nice instruction sheet, take away the grid lines, put in light borders, and start typing. All good here. So let's add in some more useful content. And then I run into this. And then I end up doing this. But then I discovered Justify. This video is a part of my Excel basics course. It's gonna get you started the right way using Excel for the real world. To find out more, check out the description of this video. So for example, if I have something that is this long and I've written instructions here, I want it to be capped to this column. So anything after should flow down. So here's what I used to do. I will go here, check out which word comes to, let's say column F. So everything after become, I'm gonna highlight, press Control X, press Enter. Go to the next line, Control V. Then anything just after this A, so this part I will cut out, press enter, go down, control V. And then I would remember to add a sentence here because I didn't clarify something. And then I'm going to repeat all this over again. But guess what? There is an Excel feature that does this for you. All you have to do is highlight and click. So let's just go back. All you have to do is highlight the range you want your text to flow to. So in my case, it says column F and a few cells on the bottom here. Then go to home, go to fill and click on justify. It did it for you. It actually put the text in the next cell down below and then it cut that part and put it down below here. Now you come to realize, okay, you have to add some stuff or you actually wanted to just go to column D, you just need to highlight, go to fill, and click on justify. Now you get a message that the text is gonna extend below the range because it's gonna go down here. That's fine, click on okay, check this out. Now even if you wanted to reverse this and put back everything on the first line, all you have to do is highlight, just highlight a range that you think is gonna fit all this text in the first line, then go back to fill, justify and everything is back that's some hidden excel magic if you found it useful give it a thumbs up and if you want to find out more tips and tricks that can help you improve your work life consider subscribing to this channel